friends, welcome to the chocolate week, day number three, which is the death by chocolate day. I haven't used this palette like ages, but today is the day. Because of the name of this palette, Death by Chocolate, that's why I would love to give myself a goth makeover using this palette over here. To the chocolate week, day number three. Let's go! So my lovelies, let's begin the gold transformation. Of course, I'm gonna start with the black eyeshadow in here. Let's see. Ooh. Okay. Hello, pigment. Oh, babe. Oh my god. Oh. Wow. Okay. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, this is a really old palette, so it's on sale right now on Revolution Beauty and you can get this palette for 3 euro 50 or 4 dollar or something like Look at this black. Are you kidding? Wow Since I'm giving myself a goth makeover this eye look would be really black really smoky and really big mm -hmm. So, in my opinion, gold curls and gold makeup are so pretty. Oh my god. I think gold curls are the most beautiful girls and women in the world. They are just so beautiful. I was always obsessed with Victorian gothic fashion and gothic style. But I'm also in colors lately. I love colors as well. For example, nowadays I'm really into Rainbow Goth's channel. She is so freaking pretty. Oh my god. She has the most beautiful, juiciest lips ever. And I love her style. She is so adorable. She working so damn hard on her channel. I could not do that. She is posting so constantly, oh my god. And also she is amazing singer you guys. I am constantly running her music videos in the background as I am doing something or as I am cleaning or cooking or something. She has a beautiful voice. I would highly recommend checking her YouTube channel out. I will link it in the down bar at the description. She is amazing. Look at this black guys. Mm, gorgeous. I mean, wow. Nice. So I would love to make a winged eye using only just the black eyeshadow. So I will wink it, I will wink it up here and I would love to make this eye look really big, the nicest way possible. <laughs> Maybe I can do it without ruining my eyes and looking really weird. I'm gonna use this shade over here and just start to blend everything just to give this an extra smokeness. Wow. I've heard so much negative stuff regarding goat makeup, but babes, these girls working only just massively 90% of the time with black eyeshadows which is really hard to blend to blend the black it's gonna take some time <sighs> guys i don't know how it's gonna go but i am looking ridiculous right now <laughs> that's a good start Maybe we are going to do a halo eye today. Okay, sounds good. Okay, I'm gonna do a halo today. You can smoke the hell out of a halo eye, so perfect for that. 
Oh, yes, smoke it up, smoke it. Smoking, smoking. Smoking the inner corner, smoking the outer corner. Constantly deepening and darkening. Black is my middle lane today. I think this is smoking up. So I'm gonna use a little tiny bit to my under eye of course <laughs> and guess what what I'm going to do I'm gonna smoke it up Gothic makeup is really makeup brush friendly you guys you can use basically two brushes for everything I like it I like it I have to say really nice <laughs> so after I am looking like bad girl I'm gonna blend a little bit under my brow bone I would love to use this shade over here under my brow bone to blend the black eyeshadow a little bit better to soften everything up because this is everything but not soft. Like this. Hello there, am I sexy enough? So we have this grayish type of shimmery shade. It's more of a satin finish, not really a shimmer shade. So let's see. Oh, this is really smoky. Really smoky. Like it, I actually. Hmm, this is not even bad. What do you guys think? You have to take a shot every time I say smoky. <laughs> oh. I think it, this shade is really interesting, don't you think, guys? I, I think this is dark gray, ashy color. I quite like it, really unique. Wow. Of course guys, you already know me, I'm gonna blend everything together. I always look like a hello mess till the very end of the video. So just trust the process. I think this is also a shimmer shade. Let's see. Yes. Mm. Let's see. Yes. A little bit from the inner corner. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you can build it up. Can you guys can see? Wow. Okay. If you guys have seen the chocolate week day one and day two, you would already know that I have always a little bit problem with the satin shades or shimmery shades in the chocolate palette. I think this is the by far the best formula from all of these, what I've tried so far. Absolutely love it. If you guys don't know what I am talking about, then go and check the videos out. I think every goat girl out there would love this palette. So, and after then, I would love to have a little bit more black, of course. I'd love to blend the satin shade to my outer V. Wow, I am really impressed. As you guys can see, the shades doesn't go patchy or doesn't skip in anywhere. 
beside the fact that I have used a ton of shade, a ton of powder on top of powder, they are not going patchy. Wow. Since this is a good transformation, I'm gonna do the rest of my face also on camera. I don't have anything white, so I'm gonna use my normal Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Radiance Foundation. I am loving this stuff lately. This is not really white, but I'm gonna use a really white concealer after all of this. So after then I have this Revolution Pro Ultimate Coverage Goose Proof Concealer. This is really really light so I'm gonna use this all over my face to lighten it up. This claims also to be grease proof which isn't. You will need from this a little bit, a tiny bit. Can you guys can see how much I have on my face? Oh my god. If something then this goes a long way. And you guys can see it. Oh my god. And this is full coverage, like full, full, full coverage. It's going to cover up your attitude. Actually, but it's so heavy it sits terrible on my pores so that's why I'm not using it on the daily basis so guys what do you guys think am I pale enough good after this step I'm gonna use a little bit of powder because it's gonna crease on my face really bad I have for that the born this way powder from Too Faced cosmetics so I am using just a little tiny bit powder from this because I am oily but dehydrated I don't want too much and just my forehead just a smooth and a little bit of this thing this is a go transformation video I'm gonna contour with the darkest shade from the Revolution Ultra Pro HD powder contour. Normally I'm contouring always with this shade over here because it has a nice warmth in it but since we have a go transformation I'm gonna use the darkest shade which is this one. This is gonna be way too dark for me but it's okay. Yeah, it's dark. <laughs> so back to the contour. So, and I'm gonna go back to our eyeshadow palette. I'm, I'm gonna use the black shade again. And let's see. We are gonna smoke on. Wow, that's what I'm talking about. Can you guys get see? Oh! Chef's kiss! Let's see. I'm gonna out wing lining my eyes using just this one. Oh my god, with the wing liner is easier. I would love to smoke it. Okay. Nice. So after this step, of course, lipstick. Oh. Mm. I think it's lovely. What do you guess think? Since we have a gold makeup. Ooh. The green shade makes my face look really yellow, so it's 
smile. After this step, I'm gonna finish the rest of my face. I'm gonna do some full slashes, a little bit of highlighter. Then I will come back with the finished eye look. So my lovelies, this is the finished look using the Death by Chocolate palette from iHeart Revolution. If you would like to have a nice, cheap, good quality palette, I highly recommend checking this boy out. Loved it! This completes my video for today, the Chocolate Weeks day number 3 using the Death by Chocolate palette. So my lovelies, thank you very much for watching and see you tomorrow with the Chocolate Week day number 4. Bye! See ya! <laughs>